Welcome back to The Bank Guide. I'm your bank guy, Colin. And today is another video in the 5-Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. And today, we're looking at six tricks that you probably didn't know you could do in Logic. Or at least, I didn't know you could do in Logic for much longer than I'd care to admit. Uh, embarrassing long in some cases. But I promise you, there's at least one thing in this video, even if you know several of these tricks, there's at least one thing in this video that you're going to be like, I did not know you could do that, and I'm probably going to use that all the time. So stick with me here. I promise it's going to be worth it. And let's go and jump straight into it with trick number one, which is command U. Command U is really cool. What it does is it sets your cycle region, this little guy up here, to whatever region you have selected. So if I'm selecting this whole region, if I hit command U, then it's going to set my cycle region to that whole region. If I just want to listen to this little area over and over again, I can select that and it's going to make it just that little area. So this is really cool if you're like, well, I just want to listen to this guitar part. I really want to focus on this guitar part. I'm going to select it, hit command U, and then now I'm just listening to that guitar part on a loop, right? Or at least a section that that guitar part is playing. So this is really helpful. Or if you, I want to go back to this chorus, I can go to this kick drum that I know is only playing in that chorus and command U, and then bam, we're just listening to that. So really cool trick. I use this all the time, especially when editing and mixing and things like that. It can also be a good starting point to get your entire song because it works if you have multiple regions selected. Like let's say uh, I just wanna, like the drums play throughout the whole song. I can select just my entire drum track, hit Command U. It's gonna give me more or less the whole area. And then I can just fine tune the beginning and end to make sure it's exactly what I want. But it's much faster than manually setting it for every single thing, right? Okay, so that's Command U. I love that. I use it all the time. Trick number two is solo safe. This is something that it's just super helpful. It's a If you need it, it's gonna be very helpful to you. So solo safe means that I can set a tracker tracks to solo anytime I solo any something else. So for example, if I want my drums to stay soloed, if I hold control on the keyboard and click on the S, then anytime I also solo something else, the drums are gonna solo. So I'm soloing just the bass here, but the drums are also soloed. I listen to the guitar here. So it allows you to have one thing or multiple things always stay solo. This can be really helpful if you're working on vocals, for example, and you're working on your backing vocals, you wanna solo safe your lead vocal while you're working on your backing vocals. So as you solo the different backing vocals, you're hearing it next to the lead vocal. There's all sorts of things that this can be really helpful for. I'll use it, I'll uh, solo safe my drums while I'm editing my bass and guitar, and then the drums stay solo no matter which bass or guitar source that I have soloed. It's just helpful. Okay, so solo safe, that's trick number two. Trick number three is find control during automation. So for example, let's go to the end of this song here. There's this cool synth that comes in at the end. And let's say I just want to automate it up in the outro one decibel. So if we listen to it just to get kind of an idea of what I'm talking about here. So this little weird synth thing going on here. Let's say I just want that to slowly come up one decibel, not a lot, but just a little bit. Okay, if I hit A to bring up my automation and I start drawing in some automation points, well, it very quickly starts to be big automation moves, right? It's hard to get really specific with your automation, but if while I'm dragging, I hold control on the keyboard, then I can move in just 0.1 increments. So you can see my movement is still big here, but I'm moving much, much finer movements, right? So find control, you hold control on the keyboard. You actually have to click it first and then hold control. If I hold control, then click, then it's gonna bring up this menu in most cases, at least in any case that I've seen. So click and hold your automation, click find control, and then you can get much, much more minute control over your automation. Game changer for automating. This is something, again, if I had a guess, you're probably gonna use all the time. Oof, okay, as I was editing it, I realized this is gonna be a 10 minute video and it's called Five Minute Logic Expert for a reason. Although most of the videos are longer than that, at least some of them should be five minutes, right? So we're gonna split this up and tomorrow I'll bring you tricks four through six and you do not wanna miss this because I think six might be my favorite trick ever. So stick around, I'll see you tomorrow for tricks four through six. In the meantime, if you're struggling to get a mix in Logic that you're proud of, I'm gonna give you something. I put together a completely free six step checklist to a pro mix that goes through the same six steps that all professional mixes have and how you can do them inside Logic completely free. It's completely free from the link in the description below, so be sure to pick it up, it's free to use, it's free to grab, so it's really gonna help you out. I get emails every day about how helpful this guide is, so be sure to grab it. It's really gonna help you out. In the meantime, I'd love to hear if any of these tricks are new to you in the comments below. Let me know. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with tricks four through six. One thing at a time.